Hi, in this video we're going to be going over the Office tab software and this is used uh, with your Microsoft Office programs so you can actually use kind of a tab browsing uh, setup for your open documents and spreadsheets and so on, kind of like what you do in a web browser because normally when you open up a Word document or multiple Word documents you have to mess with them down here on the taskbar so I have this computer here and you can see I have four documents open so I have to kind of go and switch in between them like this rather than being able to see them all in one place so once you install this office tab software there's two editions there's a free one which will work for Word and Excel and PowerPoint but if you do the enterprise you can get it for Publisher and Access Project Visio and it does a bunch of other features but we're just going to go over the free one for now then you could decide you could try it out if you like it and you want to buy the uh, Enterprise, you could go ahead and give that one a shot. I'll put a link in the uh, description for the uh, website here. Okay, so we have it installed. It's just a simple download and install, next, next, next type of thing like you normally install software. And now I have this installed and I have several documents open here and you can see it puts them all in tabs here and I could just toggle in between them. So it's pretty nice and you could drag the location around and if you right click, you could open new documents, make a, open a new one from a folder, close it. And let's say you want to close everything except for this one. You could choose this. You want to close everything to the left of this document. You close everything to the right of this and close unlocked. So there's also a lock option here. So this one's locked so you can't accidentally close it, I guess. And then you could close everything but the locked one or you could unlock it. And one cool thing too, so this one's called Letterhead and I have it open here so you could rename this right on the spot just by right clicking it click on rename put in the new name let's call this letterhead 2 so you would think it just renames the uh, tab right here but it actually renamed the file and even the temporary file has been renamed there so that's pretty cool how you could rename it really quickly like that and other things if you want to change the colors to make things stand out and you know, everything's set to default you can click on yellow so you can color code all your documents and that kind of thing you could open the folder for where that document is stored just by right clicking on it, it takes you right to the same one there and what else you could do new ones you could do a save as you could save all so if these have already been named, you know, it's not like a new unnamed document, you can click on Save All, it'll save all the changes, but you can see this one here is an unsaved document, so that's why it's asking to save this one. So if this one was closed, now if I were to go to Save All, it'll save all of them without having to go to each one and save individually, but if you have like a new one, like I was saying, and this is unsaved, and you go to Save All, it's going to ask you to save the unsaved one. Uh, and then there's also a new new button here. So if you know the way to do a quick new document, you can also right click on the little bar here and get the same type of options. So you could like a new one in a new window. So if you don't want everything in this first window here, you could do a new in a new window. And now you got this open in its own separate window here. So you can go back and forth or you could just close this one. At the help options, uh, and if you go right here, you get the all the other options. Where if you want to kind of fine tune your you know your styles, if it has some built in styles for the way the tabs look, uh, auto size. You could change the fonts that are used here, uh, the font size. Uh, you could customize all the tab colors from here and so on, and the position and so on. Uh, shortcuts, so a lot of cool stuff. And then I also have it open here in Excel, so the same. Same thing applies, kind of works the same. So anyways, yeah, so once again, just download it from the website, install it, and try it out. And if you like it, you know, use it for these three programs that it works for the free version, or you can get the Enterprise and use it for all your Word software. And if you don't like it, just simply uninstall it, and it'll be gone. Just keep in mind, um, if you do install it, it's, I think you're going to have to probably close and open Word again to get it to take effect. So you might want to make sure you have Word and Excel and so on closed before you install it to avoid any problems. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.